Bradford on Avon Baptist Church gives you a warm welcome to our carols. We have two readings this evening. The first is from the Gospel of Luke and chapter 1. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favoured one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is her sixth month with her who was called barren. For nothing is impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her.
Our second reading is from Luke's Gospel, chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria, and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. A baby lain in a manger, a familiar story. But why do we make so much fuss about a baby? Carols, celebrations every year, a record of his birth in two books of the Bible. Why? We may treasure photos of our own children as babies, but we don't expect them to be around in 2,000 years' time. Most of us will be forgotten 100 years after our death even by our own families. Even famous people don't have the story of their birth handed down through the centuries. So why this one? What's so special about him? Jesus' birth is unique. There is none like it, not before, not since. In the first reading that we had from Luke chapter 1, we heard that the angel told Mary that her baby would be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. That's an extraordinary announcement. Mary, a young woman from a small town in the far north of the country, of no significance either religiously or politically, yet she was to be the mother of the Son of the Most High, that is, the Son of God. God himself was to be born into our world as a human. This is truly astounding. No wonder that in all four accounts of his life, teaching, death and resurrection, we can find them in the Bible. And this is why Jesus Christ is the central figure of the Christian faith, which has grown and expanded across the whole world over the 2,000 years since he lived on earth. And this is why millions have found in Christ peace of heart, lasting joy, the forgiveness of sins, and a living relationship with God as their heavenly Father, as well as the promise of eternal life. The baby born in Bethlehem is no ordinary baby. He is the Son of God, come to earth as a man to live the life that we should have lived, a life of love and perfect obedience to God. We have not done that by a very long way. We fall very far short of what we ought to be in God's eyes. That's why the Bible says that we are all sinners. We deserve God's judgment, not his blessing. And so what we need is a saviour from sin to deliver us from the punishment that is due to us for our sin and to restore us to a right and good relationship with God. And Jesus is that saviour. The Bible tells each one of us to call upon him to save us. We're to turn from our sin and our disobedience to God, from our selfish ways and our self-centred lifestyles, to Jesus Christ, that he may save us from our sins and give us eternal life as only he can give. And this is why we celebrate the birth of this baby, Jesus Christ. He is none other than God, our Saviour, and he calls us now to put our trust in him.